Hi everybody. I am going to just make a background here in my Large Dilutions art journal. I've put down a piece of old ledger paper just with some um, matte, fluid matte medium and it is almost dry. And I pulled out some Distress Oxide sprays. I actually just used them to do an experiment with cold wax. If you want to see how that went, check out the eye card of it there at the top. But since I had them out, I thought, well, I am going to play and make a background. I have my splat box just sitting in front of my journal here because I have a tendency to spray everywhere. <laughs> so um, that's there. And I have water on hand and maybe some alcohol and yeah, we'll go with the water. I'm going to start with the darkest color. This is gathered twigs. Actually it's not the darkest but it's the least vibrant. I'll put it that way. Gathered twigs and then I have forest moss. and bundled sage let's get some drips here but I'm not getting any let's do it this way now you know I have paper towels and splat boxes everywhere tumbled glass do it over here too. It's going over there anyway. And just keep the blues over there. And finally I have prize ribbon. I'm just going to give everything kind of a fine spray of water. Get it moving. We'll let some of it run. I'm just going to let it run in one direction here. Excuse me while I let it drip off my page. up those little rivers along the edge there where it collected. And actually we didn't do too bad with the overspray. Alright, I am going to dry this and then we'll see what it looks like when it's dry. Okay, this is mostly dry. As I was drying I took my baby wipe and just kind of pulled some of it off of the paper so I can see some of the text underneath and I kind of concentrated the um, area where I subtracted here because I have a feeling I'll want to do a face on this page so I wanted some of that text to come through from behind the face but I feel like I've lost my greens um, so I'm going to go with another layer Okay, this is mostly dry. I'm just going to do some stamping in the background. I have this 
um, stamp, let's see, what's the set called? Faded Type. It has those different type. And I'm using Archival Ink in Sepia. And this is kind of a reversed out image. Still thinking about that face. Well, I should put it on a different block. It's hard with this long block to go across the spine of the book. That's good. <clears throat> Just get kind of a light partial. Here and there. Okay. I like that. I like that. This. I'm just going to activate what's over here and spread it across this page for another time. Okay, I had a slight mishap. I had a brand new bottle of Distress Paint in Prize Ribbon. And it has a little seal on it. And when I went to pull the seal off, I tipped the bottle and spilled probably a quarter of it on the floor. So, I took a few minutes to scrape up what I could. And I used some on this side of my page over here. And brought some up here got some on my page. Um, anyways, I decided to take this Michael Duming stencil from Stencil Girl instead of drawing a face here. I'm going to stencil these features on. Can't get underneath it to move it. So I'm just kind of looking. I don't want to cover everything up that I there, we'll go there. I like to put it on with the blending tool. You get a nice even application. Very seldom do I get it running under the edges. But with these eyelashes and everything, I may have to just pounce. I'm not sure what's going on with... Oh, I think it's part of the lips there look like fringe it's like why is that cut like that it's for the highlight of the lips okay see perfect I love that stencil so Just going to do it lightly to begin with, and then I can add more stabilo and activate it if I want. She just got kind of wild here, because I don't really feel like messing with hair. And we're going to have it come down here, because I don't feel like messing with ears either. 
artist prerogative, right? All right, I'm just going to activate that much of it, and then I think I'll reach for a pen, and I am going to activate this with matte medium so that I don't have to worry about it. Oh, you know what, though? I'm also going to be activating, yeah, my spray inks. So we'll just try to stay on the lines and not do too much. And I'll use a bigger brush to accomplish that. Let's see, I need something that's kind of stiff though. This one. Yeah, I don't mind that too much. Okay, then, then I don't know, all my good pens are upstairs, alright, we'll go with the OptiFlow, which is also water soluble, so, but I want to just come in here and highlight her eyes a little more. And because this pen is water-soluble, I think is why 
like it's mixing with the paint underneath even though the paint was dry and it's kind of losing its intensity which is okay with me actually see right here you'd think I'd have put my hand and picked it up but I don't there's nothing on my hand that's what I thought at first so I'm just ending up with kind of a gray color as the and I don't think it's from the paint I think it's from the inks the spray inks that are mixing because the paint is permanent the distress paint is permanent when it's dry and that was dry so interesting I'm going to lighten this up a little here. I'll just take it off all together. Um, I'm just going to go with a little of the shadow here that is there. That did feel like I put my hand in something. Let's see if that melts in too. Okay, I kind of got carried away off camera. I wanted to see if I could stop that OptiFlow ink pen from just keeping on. It just kept like melting into the oxide spray and turning this really milky gray color. So and so, and I needed the darkness on the top of her eyes. So um, I decided to switch to the Stabilo pencil. And once I got started with that, I kind of fixed her eyes and eyebrows and a little shading down here along her nose. Um, did that without you. And I grabbed a white chalk pencil and just kind of whitened up her eyes just a little bit, the eyeball part of it. Um, so now I think all that I have left to do, I don't want to overdo this. It's just an art journal page. I might put some writing or something on here, but I'm going to just dry brush a little bit of this worn lipstick. Just to kind of warm up her cheek area a little bit. Just a little bit because it's also mixing with the blue underneath and I don't want her cheeks to end up totally purple. Just a little blush of pink. I'm getting more on this side because that's where I pulled a lot of the oxides off. So we'll just say this is the shadow side of her face. I have more shading on her neck there anyway. And then maybe we'll go a little bit, lighten up just the bridge of her nose, just a little bit. Like that. Just where the highlights would usually be is where I'm just going to put a little dab of pink. Even though it's not really staying real pink. I'm not sure that I'm totally in love with her blue lips. So I'm going to add a little pink there too. A little more lavender. That's better. Yep. Okay. 
I think I'm going to say done because, like I say, just a page in the art journal. We'll do something on this one later. So I'll take a still or two of that one. Oh, and the other thing I realized is I said that this stencil was by Michael Demang. It is not. It's by his wife, who I think her first name is Michelle. Anyway, you can find it on Stencil Girl. It's number S807. Demang, D-E-M-E-N-G. But that just gave a real quick, easy, symmetrical um, set of facial, facial features to make a quick face. And then you can, you know, gussy it up however you want to finish it off. So, thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm sorry I did some of it off camera, but I kind of got carried away. But, it's fun to play with the Distress Oxide Sprays. I never know what I'm going to get. Um, I don't play with them enough, I suppose, to really know. But I really like this page. I really do. So, thanks for coming along. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Ring my bell. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye.